the battle for the number one spot in world golf between Rory McIlroy, Scotty Scheffler and John Rahm has captivated a global audience. Those three are taking a break this week and the focus now shifts to India with the DLF Golf and Country Club hosting the Hero Indian Open, the only European Tour event in the country. The tournament is being held for the first time since 2019 when Scotland's Stephen Gallagher held off Japan's Masahura Kawamura by one stroke to claim his fourth European Tour title. The field comprises eight winners of European Tour events from 2020 onwards and adding to the star quotient is Thomas Bjorn with the Dane having captain Europe to the 2018 Ryder Cup. And the 52-year-old is currently vice-captain to Luke Donald for the 2023 edition in Rome. Another day in Thought Bjorn Olsen comes into the tournament in red-hot form having won the Thailand and Classic on Sunday. The tournament was co-sanctioned by the European Tour from 2015 and two Indians have managed to win it since then with SSP Chaurasia going back-to-back -back in 2016 and 2017 with Anir Ban Lahiri having won in 2015. Shubhankar Sharma leads the Indian Challenge with the 26-year-old having missed the cut at each of his last two events. So as I was saying, Top Flight Golf is returning to India for the first time since 2019 with the Hero Indian Open set to tee off on Thursday. This is also a Ryder Cup year and a lot of places on the European team are still open. Earlier today, I spoke to 2018 Ryder Cup winner Thorbjorn Olsen and I began by asking him about his initial impressions of the course. So Thorbjorn? What do you think of uh, the course at, uh, at the DLF Golf and Country Club? Because top flight golf is coming back to India after a while. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I haven't played uh, the full 18 holes here yet. I only managed to play five or six holes, but I'll, I'll, I'll see the rest of the course in the Pro-Am, obviously, tomorrow. Um, I've heard a lot of things from, from other players that's been here before. Uh, it's... Uh, it's a very demanding golf course and it's very tight. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of trouble out there. So um, it's obviously going to be key to, uh, to, be, um, to be mentally strong this week and, and, and to, to keep the ball in play. And uh, um, then you'll have some opportunities. And uh, I think patience is definitely one of the biggest, uh, the most important thing this week. Now, Thorbjorn, there are quite a few Indian golfers on the European Tour and you would have interacted with the likes of Shubhankar Sharma and others. So, what is your impression of the Indian golf scene? And how important is it for Indian golf to host a big event on the European Tour? Yes, I've played with, uh, I've played with Shubhankar quite a few times. Uh, obviously, SSP has won here quite a few times. and. Um, it seems like there's more and more Indian players coming out on tour and I think that uh, that's one of the reasons why there's more Indian players is probably because of this tournament. So I think Hero Open is, uh, is very important for the country and it's very important for, for the DP World Tour also to come here. So um, it's a great week on, uh, on what seems like it's going to be a great golf course also. So. And for you personally, it's been a pretty good start to the year. Solid performances in the Middle East including the hero Dubai Desert Classic, and then of course the win in Thailand uh, on Sunday. Yes, I mean it's been uh, it's been a good 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 start to the season. Uh, I feel like I've been pretty consistent and, and slowly gotten better and better this year. And um, so obviously coming into this hero, album, I think uh, after the win in Thailand brings me a lot of confidence and believe in myself and. And believe in what I've been working on is the right things, and, and that's what I need to to keep going and keep 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 doing the same stuff. And uh, um, yeah, I look look forward to this week, and hopefully I can I can keep that momentum going and, and have a strong finish. Now this is the Ryder Cup year, and how important do you think is it for you to win early in February, considering that it gives you now the base to go and completely grab the attention of Luke Donald and your mentor Thomas Bjorn, who's playing in India as well. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's, 
it's a Ryder Cup year. Obviously, you want to play well. I think every every tournament is very important, and every tournament there's a chance for for you to 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 show the captain and to show that you're you're good enough to be in the, in the team. So every week is going to be important. There's still uh, there's still a lot of golf um, yet before that uh, before it finishes. So um, it's a good start for me, but there's a, there's a lot of hard work left for for me to be able to qualify. I did mention Thomas Bjorn, and you were part of Bjorn's victorious Ryder Cup team in 2018. And uh, you absolutely thrashed Jordan Spieth in that singles match at Le Golf Nacional. So, could you give us a first-hand account of what it means to be part of a Ryder Cup team? And secondly, a winning Ryder Cup team, because those celebrations, we all remember them all too well. Yeah, I mean, after I, I tried it in Paris the first time, it's... Uh, it's a, it's a, it's such a great experience and being in that team just uh, it's it's so different from what we we normally do we compete on our, our own and we just um, to be in that team environment is so different that it's it's um, it's so much fun so that when you've tried it once you wanna you obviously wanna play more and more of them so um, it'll be it'll be really uh, it'll be great to to get in another team that's for sure.